<clears throat> All right, what's going on, guys? It's Brendan with Divot Golf Club. Um, today, we're looking at adding some new uh, monitors to our sides here. So, our members can see their data here, and it takes some time off when they play, and you can get more data displayed. So, we're going to start by tearing up that turf there and pulling this turf up and see... Uh, what we got underneath and how we're going to run some of the some of the cabling um, going with these element brand monitors never seen them before but uh, they were on sale so that's what we're going to try This we're going with mount it found them on amazon 16 dollars good reviews so that's what we're gonna try today So it looks like it will line up, so that's good. Got a couple screws here that holds this bracket together. This monitor actually looks pretty nice for being $80 for a 24 inch, you know, nice and sleek. Minimal bezel, Very, barely any bezel, just on the bottom. But it will work just fine for what we're doing. I think it's got a 60 hertz refresh rate, but you don't need anything any faster than that for a simulator like this. You can see it lines up perfectly there. So that's good news. out what screws go with this. Looks like it's gonna be these ones in A. Probably want some washers on there. Assume that's what these are for. Alright, we got our washers here and some spacers. I'm thinking that we'll need spacers. Um, but we're gonna try one with just a washer first. Definitely gonna need a spacer that's got way too much play there. I wonder if the monitor came with its own screws because I don't know if that's gonna be enough. Yeah, we gotta just do all that space, so that's not gonna work. Alright, we found a couple extra spacers from our TV mount that should work with this, so we're gonna give those a shot. straight up to that, put one of these spacers behind there. I like to go diagonal. You can always get all of your bolts in before you tighten it down. Look at that. Oh, I guess it's probably good I mounted that the right way. That could have been unfortunate. Nice and tight there. That feels pretty good to me. All right, so we want it.
Did that look pretty good? Scoot over a little bit. All right, we're gonna pull some of this turf up and see what we're getting over it. HDI, HDMI cable and 30 footer. Our bay is about 18 feet wide, just wanted some extra cabling, so. Oh, that's gonna be, that's probably too big. Let's show you. See, nice and big there, fits perfect, so. So we're gonna go a little bit smaller than this just to save a little bit of the mat here. Oh, that's, that's perfect. Okay, so the wolf. TV will be mounted there, cable going down under the turf there. Now we gotta cut all along that. Gonna have to end up moving the PC. So let's do that. cut all the way through here lined up with this one that was pre-cut when we installed everything so we had a power cable there goes up under this turf hdmi cable is going to sneak up through there and go into our cabinet so pretty simple now we're going to feed the cable uh hope it's long enough it's not if it's not long enough that's going to be an issue i'll have to get another one but i think it should be fine so Let's do that. Got the one right side mount on the wall. There we go. Center as good as we can. It's gonna look pretty level. what it's gonna look like from the hitting area. Lined up pretty good. We're gonna tilt it back. Mount it right there, should be pretty good. <clears throat> so we finally got everything done. We needed to get one wall, one screen mounted on the wall. So our righties have a good uh, day to display right here. Uh, we'll eventually get our cameras up so we can have it down the line and face on camera for our righties. Uh, it's gonna take some time to get our lefties taken care of, our display port uh, cables. They're a little too wide, the casing's too big on it, so um, they don't all plug into our graphics card, but we're working on that. But yeah, the finished product's pretty good. Um, right now, I'm here on Black Desert Resort. Um, got all of our numbers, got our impact numbers, Tore all that up, cut the line in it, uh, got our cable fed, um, extended screens. So we have multiple options that we could do. 
any of these video one video two will probably be up there once we get cameras installed but we're working on that and this one same thing but impact and numbers are my favorite i think that's the most useful um, until we get the uh, cameras installed so yeah that's kind of how it goes pretty easy install it looks really good adds a good look to the bay a little bit more sleek and clean so yeah it looks pretty good in here all right so we're finally getting around to mounting a monitor for our lefties at the club only the righties have had it for a while so figured lefties deserve some love too Just, we went with an Element 24 inch uh, 1080p monitor, nothing too crazy. And then this wall mount was given, like was included in my TrackMan purchase and everything. Video Secure, Video Security Solutions. It's fine. It's got two holes here. That mount instead of four. And the mounting hardware they supplied. Uh, yeah. So much easier and faster than a screwdriver. That's what we're going for. Um, right, we're good. Okay, now we're gonna move over to the wall, drill a couple holes, do some cool stuff with that. All right, so we're just estimating, doing a little visual lineup with that. Doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, I'm talking to the camera. I'm gonna go about 47 inches from the turf, 47 and a half. Let's see, but make sure that there's no stud here. Stud there. Power cord's not long enough, so we got an extension cord running over there. We're just gonna pull this out a little bit. And get our HDMI cable here. Plug it in. Just let those hang for a little bit. two little screws in the bottom to lock it in. Gotta tighten up this. Look at that, it's mounted as we pull the power cord up. It's back in, okay.
Maybe a little bit. Oh yeah. That matches perfectly with that one. Let's start the TrackMan Performance Studio, see what it runs. See if we have to set it up as a second monitor, third monitor. This monitor should just mirror what that, that one does. So I'm hoping that it's quick and easy like that. Obviously we gotta do some cable management, cable hiding, I guess, and clean that wall. Cause it's pretty dirty, but let's see what we got. So let's just go shot analysis, get everything queued up here. I'm just gonna do auto target. This, that's not the main. Seven iron. We want that on video anyway. Okay, so extended screens appear to not be set up. We want that split screen numbers. Our right side, we want impact. This one, we want split screen numbers, impact settings. I think all that is good enough. Number one, that's what we want. Two, split screen, three, split screen. Okay, so up here we get the camera, our range, get our numbers on the left side, our numbers on the right side say it's not selected. So let's uh, see what's going on there. Extended screen. Maximum. Oh, why didn't it? So it takes it off the left side. Okay. So we're going to go into NVIDIA. Okay, so one of two. 60 hertz, that doesn't matter. All right, we messed with the settings a little bit. Uh, we had to go into Windows display settings, uh, but this way we're duplicating three and four, so they have the same image. Impact numbers on both sides. Um, so that's what we want. We're gonna go into TrackMan and verify real quick. Go ahead, close out of all this stuff. Let's go home real quick. Go practice, shot analysis, auto target, give it time to load. Select a name, club, and they are the same. So then if we go to extended screens, if we change that to video, let's go side top. It does that, perfect. Okay, so it looks like we got that figured out. Let's make All right, so got our downline camera, good old TV for the sports and whatnot. Our head-on camera for our righties. We're still waiting to get a, a mount for the camera over there. Uh, got our second monitor that has our numbers and our impact. Got our video up there, our range, our other monitor for our lefties, um, and then our touch screen that runs it all. We can go to the second monitor, our second camera, see that. And there we go. Nice. Good space for everyone. Oh, I forgot. I put the Tony Finau signed thing up. Look at that. Good old Tony Fee now.
Prince of New York. 